Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Jeremy, and this will be the only Google Chat tutorial you will ever need, including for beginners. Let's begin. So Google Chat is Google's version of a direct messaging application. You can use it to send people direct messages, and you can also use it in a more organized manner, creating workspaces where you can share files and tasks. Let's take a look. We're going to start off at mail.google.com slash chat. And there you will find the Google Chat workspace. On the left hand side, you will see that we can create chats, spaces, and meets. Let's go through them. Let's begin with chats. A chat is a direct messaging chat that you can start with one person or with multiple. So you can also create groups. To create a chat, click the plus icon and type in the email address of the person you want to add. Start chat. And you have now created a chat with another user. So the first thing we can do is just send a message. We can also invite the other party for a video call by clicking here. We can also search within the chat if we have a long history of chatting with them. And we can exit the full screen. Like so, create a little chat window. If you want to change the formatting of your text, if you want to emphasize something, for example, you can do that here. For example, bold and cursive to make sure the other person knows that the piece of text is important. We can also add some emojis, a GIF, upload a file, and here we can also start a video call. To the left hand side, we have some extra options. We can attach Google Drive files for bigger files, and we can also create a calendar invitation where we can invite somebody for an event or for example, for a Google Meet video call. If we go up to the email address of the other participant, we have a few extra options. We can view the members in this group, and we can also add some apps and integrations. Let's take a look. We go to add apps, and for example, we can add a poll, absolute poll, for example, and we add it. And we see that our polling application has been added to the conversation. Let's explore this a bit further. We can start a new chat with the same people, mark the chat as unread, pin it, turn off notifications, turn off the history, which means that it will delete messages within 24 hours, block and report the person, hide the conversation, or delete it. That was it for chats. Let's now take a look at spaces. So spaces are very similar to chats but they do offer some extra utilities. Let's create a space. I'll create a new space and I'll give it a name. So spaces are a bit more organized than just chats because they include a chat, a place to share your files with the other members and a way to assign tasks. This makes spaces very useful for work environments, for example. Let's go back to the chat function. Here again, we can add people and apps. We can add the polling app again, and we can assign tasks to other people in the group. Bottom left corner, we can again add files through Google Drive and create calendar invitations. And here we have the same formatting, emoji, GIF, file uploading, and invitations for Google Meet options that we had in chat as well. Top right corner is also the same as for the chats. Now finally, let us take a look at Google Meet. So Google Meet is basically Google's version of video calls. We can create a new meeting, send an invitation to somebody using a link, or we can also join a meeting. If somebody has sent us a code, we can use that code to join their room and to join their video call. That was it for the left hand side of the Google Chat screen. To the right, you will have direct access to a few handy Google apps. For example, your calendar, your Google Keep Notes, your tasks, and your contacts. And here, if you have the contact information of somebody, let's say their email address or their phone number, you can create a new contact. Then you can invite those contacts directly to your Google Chats or your Google Workspaces. Now that was it for our Google Chat tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. Goodbye.